Hey tubers. I'm back working on the cabinet. And at this point, I've actually got some really nice maple wood. And I'm uh, facing off the edges of this cabinet in preparation to uh, put some doors and drawers in. And I've decided to go with a three pattern rail across because this is where my drawers will be shooting in. And uh, it's pretty down and dirty setup. These two here, I'm not even going to worry about it. This one and the styles along each side, I'll clamp and nail those because uh, I really don't want to go anywhere with the hinges hanging on that side. Okay, so if I've cut everything the same, it should work like the last one. I'm taking my glue, I'm running a little bead, Okay, and then I like to take my thumb and just wipe it on, or finger, or whatever the hell else I'm using. And I use my pants as a rag. My wife hates it, but that's life in the fast lane. Okay, so I'm holding flush with this bottom. And I need a 3 8 reveal on both sides. Okay. And if I can't get 3 8 I'm just going to take a match. But I should be able to get 3 8 on both sides because I cut this bad boy exactly right. There we go. Now I don't have a brad gun, so I'm using my finished nailer, and I'm shooting some two and a half inch nails in here. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, of course, take a wet rag, wipe off any glue residue you've got here. Otherwise, that's going to give you a problem when you uh, put on your coat of finish. Well, that looks nice. Now, I just got a phone message, so let's see what's happening in the world. Okay, I didn't show it, but I just shot in my center spa and clamped it. I want an 8 inch deep draw, so I put a 9 inch gap there and uh, we'll figure it out. Okay, all I'm doing right now Where's my piece? Oh, it's in place. I've cut these pieces. I've dry fitted them. They're nice and tight. Good clean fit. I'm picking what I think is the pretty side. Glue the back. Wipe your glue in. Now, you set this one in place. measuring this all I'm doing is trying to keep these edges here lined up oh shoot I got one spot with glue want to glue here and a little bit I'll just put on the top here
This piece has got to go in almost perfectly square. It's cut so tight. Hands of steel. I'm not even using a rubber mallet to knock this shit around. Okay, close enough. And then we shoot it very carefully to make sure you don't blast through your outside wood. And then finally, you take your wet rag, which I like an old sock. And you clean up all the damn glue on your cabinet. Make sure your sock is nice and wet. Because that's the easiest way to get the glue off. Okay, and so the face of this thing is starting to take shape. Oh, last, because I am gluing this, I'm also going to clamp it for an hour just to make sure I get good adhesion. seeing glue squirt out the back here so nailing holds it in place but it's not the same as a clamp So we're going to have to wait a little bit. Okay, well, I seem to be moving faster than I'm recording. So let's look at what I've done. I've uh, installed all my styles all the way around the front of the cabinet, as you can see. Now in the center here, I double block this piece. So there's two styles running in here. I just glued them together. And then what I did was I put a little stub of wood there in the back and then I notched a piece of plywood wood scrap, two pieces that I doubled up and I just tagged it in there real solid, centered, so I've got something for my draw to carry the hardware each side and because it's inch and a quarter or inch, inch and a half when in two three quarters are put together this one by covered it nicely a maple and uh, you'll never know it wasn't factory fresh. So like I said, as you can see, I've got all four sides banded, the cross piece is in, and I've put a center, center board across there to uh, carry the tracks for the doors. My next step now is going to be to uh, Cut the faces for the uh, drawers and cut the cabinet doors. Ugh.